my favorites yeah let's just jump right into it because i don't have that much but it can easily turn into a 20 minute video and if you hear something in the background it's my humongous fan because it's so hot it's 85 degrees and i can't take it so yeah my makeup probably doesn't even look this great in this video but oh well let's get started um let's do skincare first so i have been loving 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 this clay mask by freeman it's the mint and lemon facial cleanse clay mask and it is perfect for those of you with oily and acne prone skin because of the mint and lemon um the mint soothes your skin and the redness and the lemon helps with your acne and this is really really cool I love the way this smells and I don't even like lemony smelling things but it, this one smells good and I love the texture of this because it's not like straight thick clay like the Queen Helen or Queen Helene mask this is actually more on the smoother like gel side it's like a gel and a clay put together it's very um soft and, or very smooth and I like to apply this with a, um, a synthetic foundation brush because it's so much more cleaner um, and not as messy rather than using your fingers um, I do that with all my masks now I use an old foundation brush and I just apply it and it applies it evenly and this dries really fast and it leaves your skin so soft and it really really helps with your acne it really like minimizes them so I've been loving this next skincare product is uh, eye cream and I've always wanted to try an eye cream um, just for preventative reasons and also because I have um, genetic dark circles anyways I just want to try an eye cream because concealer is not my best friend because of fine lines so I have the Neutrogena healthy skin eye cream it is a multivitamin treatment with alpha hydroxy and melobios which is something <laughs> and it's clinically proven to visibly reduce the appearance of fine lines around the eye area which is exactly what I've been looking for um, and since using this which I just started like a week or two ago because I just got it a week or two ago but since using this I noticed that uh, my concealer doesn't crease as badly um, but that could be because I don't put as much concealer under my eyes I conceal differently under my eyes now but I think this could have helped as well and I like it. It's like a gel based formula. It's not really thick. It's thick, but it's like more gel than cream. And it absorbs really, really easily. I just put, uh, they say a pearl size amount. I just do that on my ring finger. And I dot, dot, and then I pat it in. And whatever is remaining on my finger, I just glide over my eyelids. I don't know. I just feel like it helps with that um, as well. So, yeah, I've been liking this. And you can use this alone or under makeup and you can use this day and night and this was like 11 something or 12 dollars for this little tube it's only 0.5 ounces which isn't a lot but since it's for the eyes you don't use a lot so I can kind of understand but yeah I've been liking this and last skincare thing of course has to be my makeup wipes this is the Pond's Wet Cleansing Towelettes and this is the purple package I think they come in like pink or blue as well I think the formula is different I think it might be for sensitive skin or something I don't know but I love these wipes they take everything off they take mascara foundation eyeshadow um, waterproof eyeliner waterproof mascara they take everything off and they're so moist um, they look soapy but don't be scared because it goes away after you like take it out of the package um, once the air hits it but they are so good and they don't dry your skin out leave your skin feeling soft but I do um, wash my face after this this is just to get that first layer of makeup off but I don't recommend just using this and going to sleep um, don't be lazy <laughs> clean your face the right way um, cleanse your face after you use these but these work really really well and I'm gonna get more today because as you can see I don't have much left and it comes with 30 towelettes it's a pretty decent amount so that's it for skincare um let's move on to fragrances because I actually have some fragrances so the first one I got uh, before my birthday uh, last month I believe um, it is beautiful day and it's Bath and Body Works and this stuff smells so good 
oh it is seriously like a beautiful day i can't even explain it it's very very um fruity so if you don't like fruity scents this isn't for you but it is so refreshing and it just wakes you up it's like citrusy yet fruity i don't even know exactly what could be in it but oh it smells so good it smells like there's like apple and then uh oranges or something i don't know but this stuff smells so good and it's it looks it's green I like the packaging it's like very it looks aquatic but it's not it's flowery but it's so pretty and it smells so awesome I use this like every day and for special occasions like if I'm going out to eat or something or if I'm going out at night um, I've been loving my little Viva La Juicy perfumes um, these two in particular I got this for my birthday uh, which was a few weeks ago and it came in this box I think you can get this at Ulta I believe because that's where my mom got it because she got a free tote um, because you had to spend a certain amount of money but isn't this box gorgeous it's so cute and it just lifts up and it says Juicy Couture and it lists all four fragrances it comes with four fragrances come on this is so cute but these are the two that I've been loving especially this one this is just Viva La Juicy and this is Viva La Juicy La Fleur, and I think this is their newest scent. Um, it smells like Viva La Juicy, but a little more florally, or a little more sweet florally. I can't explain it. It's like, it's more on the flowery side, but yet it still smells sweet like Viva La Juicy. But I've been loving these two so far, um, and I like this one. But the original one smells pretty good too. But yeah, I use that only for special occasions. Alright, that's it for uh, other stuff. Now on to the makeup. So first thing I'm going to grab is this NYX Butter Gloss. And Love Melissa Michelle was raving about these. And I just had to get it. Um, this is Apple Strudel BLG08. And this is kind of a newer product by NYX. And I do not like the smell, I'm going to tell you. It smells like vanilla frosting. I know a lot of you probably like that smell, but I personally hate vanilla. I don't know why, I just I just hate it. I can't eat it or smell it. I hate it. I hate the way it smells. But it smells good for those of you who like vanilla. But it smells like the matte glosses. Lip glosses, that's what it reminds me of. Um, but the consistency it doesn't remind me of that. But it is this really, really pretty, like corally, soft pink color. It's very opaque on your hand. When you put it on your lips, um, it looks a little different. It doesn't apply as opaque. I can't explain it. It does, but the color doesn't look like this. It looks slightly milkier, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm not wearing it right now, but I love, I just love this. It does feel like butter. It's a little sticky. Not as sticky as the Mega Shine glosses. Um, but it is very smooth and very moisturizing and I do like these a lot. Next product is also another NYX product and it is their blush and I got it in this really really hard word that I can't say. Borgese Pig, I think. There. That thing is Borgese Pig. But it is this really really pretty um, everyday yet bright pink color. It is so pretty. Look at that. It's so, oh, I love it. I've been looking for a blush that was bright pink, but not light pink, if that makes sense. Because I have a light pink blush by e.l.f. Um, I think it's called Cotton Candy or something. I don't know. It's the $3 blushes from Studio Line. It's that really, really bright pink one, but it's too light to the point where it, it kind of looks like ashy on me, and I can't really wear it that much, but... So this is perfect. This is really good for every day. I think this works for all skin tones. The fairest of the fair. Just use a light hand and darkest of the dark. And it's so pretty. And I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can see. But it's it's the perfect everyday pink. Next product. I have been waiting for this to come out. And it finally did. Um, it's the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. Uh, everyone, well, there's been a few beauty gurus that was sent this product uh, to try out before it was launched, but now it's out. Um, I think it came out. It came out late in the late May. In late May, I think it just it came out not that long ago. But I love this eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner. It's not a felt tip. 
uh, it's actually a brush tip it's like the calligraphy pen tips um, if you look really really closely it's like little brush hairs and I'm not gonna write on my hand because if I do it won't come off because that's how freaking awesome this is I'm wearing it right now I'll show you I'm wearing it right now and it's really black um, it's more black if you have eyeshadow on your lid um, but you may need to go over it like a few times if you're just wearing it like this by itself but it makes the best wing liner you could possibly do and I love the fact of how thin the brush is because you can really get into your inner corner um, without having such a thick line because I hate making thick lines that are in the inner corner it sucks so bad but this you don't and I love this and you have so much control and it literally is waterproof that lasts all day but it comes off with makeup remover easily which is weird how can a waterproof thing come off so easily I don't know but that's how this formula was made and I really really like it and it's very inexpensive I want to say it's between five to seven dollars I don't know the exact price of it but it's definitely under ten and it's definitely under eight so I think it's like seven bucks maybe it's very affordable and I love this and it's very sleek too you can take it anywhere Next product is my Holy Grail foundation. You guys already know. It's the Revlon Color Stay. And my color is in 370 Toast. And I love this. I'm wearing it right now. Even though it's blistering hot out. Uh, it doesn't melt off your face. That's why I love wearing it. But I'm only wearing one coat today because, it's because of how hot it is. Um, but I love this. It stays on. Um, it's perfect for um, combination oily skin. It's perfect for anybody well I got it in combination oily but it's good for any skin um, it leaves your face matte without being flat and I like that and it has excellent coverage and it stays on all day I love this especially for summer if you're looking to wear a foundation in the summer um, but you don't want it to melt off and you don't want it to fade Revlon Color Stay is the foundation for you it will stay on Next product I cannot live without because I swear this is the reason why my face stays pretty matte most of the day and it is the Mali Evercolor Poreless Face Defender and I've talked about this a few times in my videos and I just love this stuff. Um, you just tap it with the sponge that it comes with or just any cosmetic sponge just tap it and then press it on your face after you put on all of your makeup and it literally like seals in your makeup and keeps you from getting oily all day long I love this stuff so much and it comes with so much um, I think I won't be done for like a year or so but I love this this stuff is amazing I can't live without it I need it I just need it and it leaves your skin looking very um, soft focus if that makes sense like I can't explain it but in person it looks like like soft it looks soft <laughs> I can't explain it um, but I love the way this looks on your skin and it doesn't feel heavy and it's clear so it can work for any skin tone I love it it's 40 bucks but it is so worth spending the 40 bucks for and my last product is my 88 color palette once again and I've been using this a lot lately mainly because I've been going for this uh, makeup look that I'm actually wearing right now um, it's the pop of color underneath I use the purple uh, actually this purple wasn't in the palette but I've been using um, the palette for this kind of look where it's just eyeliner and then pop of color underneath and this palette is so convenient for that because there's so many colors to choose from like I can use any color and under the rainbow so I've been loving that and yeah that is it for my main favorites um, wasn't that much stuff and the video wasn't as long so I've accomplished something today uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I hopefully will be able to do these monthly uh, we'll see but yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye and fine lines. Ah, bird! Ah, bird! Oh, the bird came right at my window. I think it's a nest right here. And plus there's a giant tree in front of my window. And oh, God, that was too close. Probably saw the shadow. I didn't appreciate that. April favor. April. <laughs>